Hello guys, what is up? CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, guys, we hit 500 subscribers already. That was a really fast journey, I'm not going to lie. And it makes me so happy that um, I am able to help so many people. And uh, I hope I can help many, many more in my future. I have so much to do, so many plans, so many videos. And uh, this is this is only the beginning, guys. <laughs> this is this makes me so happy, and thanks for thanks so much for support. Some of the videos have already hit ten thousand views. We have yeah ten thousand, five thousand. It's just amazing that I can help out this many people. Anyways, for the five hundred subscriber special, I am going to code a little basic version of Adventure Capitalist, and I feel like that'll be fun. Um, and I'm gonna do this all live. Once well, the project's created, oh here we go. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. It's gonna be a little basic. Um, it's gonna be a basic one, that's for sure. Cause I'm not too uh, confident in my skills to make a kind of a big game like that. But let's give it a try. I feel like this would be cool. Like I have a thousand subscribers, I can do. I don't know. I can do like Idle Miner Tycoon or something like that. So yeah, uh, subscribe if you're interested in that. Spread my channel. Post it on the incremental. Uh, subreddit, give me some awareness, and I'll create some amazing content for you guys. Um, and this is a huge learning process for me as well. So yeah, it means so much. Uh, anyways, we're going to start with a few um, things starting up. Like usual, we need to have our scripts. We're going to have images. And we're going to have fonts. For my fonts, I'm going to go to my idle tutorial uh now nah, i'm gonna go to my crypto clickers and i'm gonna use my average font so let's just copy all that no that doesn't work okay um so yeah we can just go to where is it show and explorer here we go let those import oh uh, yeah okay so i'm gonna use my generic I'm going to use actually a font that I haven't used in a very long time, which is uh, Legacy Crypto Clickers. I'm going to use that font because I like it. And it's such an old font that I haven't used in so long. I could, I have another font that I like called Lemon Milk. I could do that. Where is it? Octane Bold. I feel like I've used this font a lot. You know what? Let's install Lemon Milk. Lemon Milk's a really cool, basic, uh, modern font that I used. For some of my projects in the past for graphic design in a school. So we're just gonna download that. I'm gonna put it in where is it? I think it's uh I don't know where it is. Desktop. Folders, dev. Where did I place it? <laughs> I, I already I already don't know. Oh, right, right here. Folders. Idle games backups. That's a really bad location. I don't know why I put that there. You know what? It's okay. Here we go. Cool. We got ourselves. We can delete this too. Lemon milk. Hell yeah. That looks awesome. Cool. I like this one. This one looks cool. Ha! <laughs> it's actually a cool font. I love this. <laughs> um, okay, so we have our money. Let's make this, let's prettify it a little bit. Adding a background. Oh no, everything's gone. What should we do? I wish you could add gradients and unity. I don't know why that's a thing. That's, oh wait, swatches. Can we do that? What's this? Oh, that's templates. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's that's really cool. Can you add gradients yet? Nope, you can't. Sucks. Um, let's go get our average background too, because. And I don't want to make a new gradient right now. 
to use this one. I don't know if I put yeah, I knew I put that in the wrong folder. It's okay. <laughs> we could use this. <laughs> okay. It's not a very, I'm not a fan of this color. We can do better. We can do better. Shoot. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. And honestly, I... I, in my previous video, I talked about Patreon. How much I might, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna add this to the Patreon. If you guys think the other is too cheap, like fifteen dollars a month is too cheap, then yes, I will change. I will add this and keep the price. Oh, that looks cool. I love this. Let's make this look like Tron. Yeah, that's a nice color. That's a really nice color. Um, okay. Money. Let's add some interface stuff just to make it pretty fine. I know I should make the game first before I do that, but I love making the UI, as you can tell. <laughs> I love UI. It's gotta look good. Um. So let's see what we got. You know what? Let's make a crypto one. Let's do. Let's do Tron Zero Two RX. Let's make a crypto one. Uh where is our tab? I can't see half these pictures. Yeah, they're right here. But you probably can't see. Um, is it recording? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Um, I think this is... No, that's not it. I could just... I'm honestly just going to like copy this folder. Uh, assets, images. There we go. We got our whole selection here. I know. I haven't made anything yet. I'm going really slow. My apologies. I don't need it. I don't need it. Text. I could have used Text Mesh Pro just to make it look better. Oh, no, well. Let's do this one. I hate how you can't snap objects that are upside down. That's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, that is literally the dumbest thing ever. Snap to top. Yes, I forgot. Make sure you anchor everything. I'm not going to explain much because I have a whole series on that. Yeah, that looks nice. We're going to keep that. A little different. I actually wasn't planning on using, but I saw the the picture and I was like, oh, "Why not?" You know what? Here, let's flip this real quick. This needs to be. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's start our actual game. So we're gonna create an empty. Um, I'm gonna start with a few, maybe like three. Uh, production. Yeah, we could just fill this entire space right here. Boop. I'm going to anchor this to the bottom. We're going to create another empty. We're going to create a few units. Unit one. These are all going to be anchored to the top. So um, before I place everything inside, we need to create a few things. We're going to get cost. We're going to need a level, we are going to need a progress bar, and we are going to need a button for buying. So we can just place that here. Not very, I don't like that, but you know what, it's okay. Um, for fill, let's leave this here. Let's, let's actually, I can use this progress bar I already have. Uh, bar BG. Bar fill. Fill. <sighs> I hate how you can't do this. 
Ah, right, we gotta make this scale to size. Oh, This is going to be our fill BG fill bar. Um, this is going to be the name of the upgrade. I should have set all my text by default. Uh, what should this one be called? We're going to call this one Adapt. And you know what? We're gonna do exchange fees. A little boring name, but you know, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> um, the button is pretty ugly looking. Let's change that real quick. Mm, let's change this up. Let's use this. How's that look? It's not the the most attractive one, but it works. Or should I use a fill? I mean, a fill looks nice. Let's just check it out. Um, I I like that honestly. All right. I feel like these are a little clustered now, so let's just kind of adjust it. Bye. And once we make one of these, we will be safe. Oh yeah, I forgot about this right here. Mm, okay, so this is gonna be different. This is light. This is regular. I think I like medium. <laughs> Excuse me, oops. All right. And we can have a, a timer in here too, just for why not? You are, you know, how percent? How does that look? Yeah, that's a little too. That's a little too big. Twelve? How does that look? That looks very blurry. That looks a little too small still. Thirteen. Fourteen. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. But now this button just seems kinda like out of the out of the way. Um so how does this fill bar look? Ah, yeah. I I want I don't want to forget about this. Yeah, there we go. Problem is that this is kind of hard to see. I have an idea. No, this may look really bad. 
it's worth a shot. There we go. That looks better. 18. Okay, that looks good. We'll keep it as, as that. Uh, we can make this a little smaller, honestly. Not probably not the best position, because it looks like this. On, uh, you know what? It actually looks good. Let's not focus on making it the best. Let's actually make it work. <laughs> I know, I've said that a lot. Um... So level. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't really feel like adding icons because uh, I'm not very good at that, and that takes time. So we're just gonna our level here. This is just gonna be one. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we could start coding. <laughs> Finally. Uh, I'm not going to add any save system yet. That takes too much time. I'm just going to make the game work. However, I am, I, you know what? I might, because testing will be annoying. But it's just going to be a bunch of copy and paste. So we're going to create our data class. We'll click public class data. Ah, we're just going to have to do, do doubles. Tier X. Public double. I want to make a dictionary for all of these. But I hate dictionaries right now. That takes too much testing. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do each upgrade individually. I hate this. But I don't have the time to make a dictionary. I don't got time to make a damn dictionary. Um, so you won cost. UI using system unit enter. <sighs> using directive is unnecessary. I don't like this. I'm sh shut up. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um What's our growth? One point zero seven times or to the power of level. Ah, uh, you're right. Uh. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Now we can just use POW. What else do we need here? Right. Okay. So... Public... Oh boy. No, public player data... Public void full reset. Full reset. Tier X equals five. Time cap equals four. You know what? It needs to be one. One second. Oh, 
Oh yeah, power. Let's just give me one. So that should take five seconds to buy another one. Um, so actually we need to start with TX with zero then. Because we'll... I'm trying to think of something. Ah, that's why. This is just data. Um, this is 20 minutes so far. I need to make something. We'll make power equals Oh, shoot. Return one times u1 level. Okay, so I guess we can do public void. Uh, update. <clears throat> okay, we'll have separate methods to make this a little cleaner. Okay. Sorry if I'm not talking a lot, I'm just trying to think of what to do. I really haven't done anything like this before. Well, not in forever. I'm tempted to make a, an adventure capitalist type of game, but that was when I was really bad at programming. So it's been forever. Data, data. 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 Else. Public void collect u1. And this is where we do data.trx plus equals u1 data.u1 power. And we have to reset the timer. Data.timer equals zero. Okay, um, so I think we have our basic mechanics done. No upgrades yet. Um, so yeah, we should probably do that. I'm gonna do switch case. Okay. <sighs> this is the part I really don't like. <laughs> it's my hate mod. I hate mod. This. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um. You know what? I don't. We're gonna have to do this. You want molt? We're just gonna do it every ten, <laughs> cause I honestly don't have. I mean, we could do it every like for the first one is ten, and then the next one is twenty five. Okay, let's do that. If data dot UI one level equals ten, 
equals equals 10. So this will be a speed molt and uh and a value one. So we can we can get it this one. It's redundant. And the timer will increase faster. No, 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 no. Let's make the speed cap. Ah, yeah. Let's do that. It doesn't... Oh, honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Usually there's a collect button, too. So I'm running into a little bit of issues. I mean... I, I, it's honestly just worth testing, but in my mind, I know I'm doing something wrong. If it's 10, else if data dot u1 level mod 25 equals 0, we will multiply each by 2. So it'll happen for 10 and then every 25. I feel like that's kind of fair. Unless I should do every. You, you know what? That looks, that looks fair to me. Let's do that. And then mod 50. Alright. Um, I can make a method for this too. So let's get rid of this right here. And make... Make it stop at this timer so it doesn't it doesn't continue to increment. Um, so we need a button for this too. All right, so we can start with our text. So we region u one end region public text. So we have we need our our u1 title text. We need our cost text and our production test text and our percent text. And we need an image, public image u1 fill. So this will be cost. This will be uh, production. What else? Uh, and percent. Yep. Percent text. Copy all that into run one u one. This is gonna be called exchange fee. Exchange fee. And then we'll have Data dot UI near U one level. That should be it for that. And this one will be by new line cost data dot U one cost. I can add a notation system too. I'm probably just gonna copy and paste it from my from crypto clickers. I really don't want to make a new one. Production data dot u one power plus trx per fill percent. This will simply be data dot timer divided by data timer cap. Ah plus percent. And then the UI fill 
is fill amount equals, why is this flipped? Hopefully that should work. We need to convert this to float. Um, no, you know what? I don't know why this these aren't floats. <laughs> All right, I, I fucking hate this. Okay, this should work. All right. So now we have an excuse to make things a little closer. We're going to have a collect button too. Collect. And we're going to make this one different. We're going to make this one a box. And we're going to make it green because we love money. Money's green. Um, not very satisfied with how that turned out, but honestly, it'll work. It just feels very clunky, you know? Like, I feel like I could have just kept it like this, and then put collect right here, and that would look just fine. I like that. That looks that looks nice, I think. Um, so I'm not going to put it into this yet. Well, I can extend that. Where is our script? Where is our script? Ah, we haven't made it yet. Uh, we're going to call this game controller. Alrighty. Let's get this party started. So this is production. I forgot to add that. Production. Percent fill. And we need to add a method to this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, this is fun. I love I love just making small games like this. And you guys should too. You should just do this. You get better at coding. The more you do it, the better you get. And it, it's just, it's so easy to learn something that you enjoy doing. I learned almost coding all of this just by myself. And just from alert, talking to people from school, I've on, it's honestly just helped so much. All right. We run to our first error. That's how you know we are doing a good job. Oh, I hate this. It doesn't show when it's an empty text. <laughs> Screw you, Unity. Oh, wait. No. No reference. What are we missing? Okay. Title text is right here, though, right? Um. You know what? I think it's something to do with this, right? Data. It's something to do with data. Why am I having such an issue with this all of a sudden? Just out of nowhere. Am I forgetting the serializable? Okay, we're gonna pull up my Ethereum controller. Nope. We don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need any of this. What do we need? I just want serializable. What what, what part is that? Uh, is that a system? I think that's a system. Using the system. Yeah, there we go. This should work now. Huh, cross my fingers. So maybe this is what the serializable does, as I'll explain in another tutorial. Yes! Oh my god, that is not good. That is not good. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, making games, lots of optimization, that's for sure. 
that two string F zero. We need zero decimals. Let's see, do we need these parentheses here? I don't believe so. Yeah, I had a feeling we didn't need these. It just makes me feel like, I feel like these multiply and then you divide, but it, that's not the case. It's division first. I, I suck at order of operation with coding. I am awful with it. Here we go. Okay. So now the problem is that it's collecting. Okay, so here's a problem. This target graphic is, is not set to collect. So it's triggering the buy. No, it's not. Um, okay. So we we do need five tier X just to buy that one upgrade. <laughs> and however, if data timer is greater or equal than data dot cap, then we can collect it because it keeps resetting no matter what. It's just small little changes that makes a big impact. So there you go, I can't spam it. So now the problem is that we're not starting with, we, we are not starting with five tier X as I hoped. So I feel like I need to have a start. It's because we don't have a, a save and load system yet, where it doesn't load default stuff. So, we're just going to have to make it a start method just for now. What is wrong with this? Yes, I know. I forgot to put the data. Give me a break. Okay. For 37 minutes of coding, can we get this to work? No! We still can't. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. It's a full reset. Hmm. I see the problem. I am totally so we are actually getting it. So let's let's get rid of this full reset. I don't know if we need that, but I totally forgot to add the TRX text. <laughs> Plain and simple. Uh, so this can go in our update. We don't need this in our new one. Data.trx plus trx. And also, I could do all lowercase if I wanted to because these are automatically being capitalized. But you know, we'll, see. we'll wing it. I'm being spammed on Discord right now. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Ah. Okay, anyways, I'm busy making ad cap right now. Ah, there's a still a problem here. Um, so we can go to our game controller and see what's wrong with the data. So we're starting with okay. Why have we changed that? Why are we starting with five? Okay, so that's our next problem. Is that we really do need this public void start. What the fuck do you want, you Asian cock? Subs special, baby. Cause I have 500 subs, baby. Send link to channel, baby. No, you. Shut up. <laughs> you can take a deep guess on on what channel it is, man. Cryptograms. Cryptograms. Congratulations. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? I am making Ad Adventure Capitalist as my 500 sub. 499 subs. I'm your 500 sub. You swag it up. Shut the fuck up. No, you literally do have 499. Fuck, did someone unsubscribe? God damn. Yeah, me. Now you have 488. You have 498. You must be. Shut up. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just publish this once I re hit 500. In this video, I had 500, so shut up. <laughs> 
Clicker Clicker Heroes tutorial. Because why not? That's awesome. True. You passed the test. Shut up, you turnip. <laughs> why is this not working? Oh, I, I found see. this odd Reddit and was shocked. This has so little views. Colon O. What? I'm looking at the comments on your first video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. I fixed this now. Hell yeah! Zach, someone commented they need help. When? Oh no, they say that. Never mind, I figured it out. I wanna fail. Here, I'll stream my screen. I'll go live. <laughs> Zach, I'll stream my fucking plane, too. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do I get my screen? Oh, screen. Zack and Novel Boy is streaming Molten Oh Bowery. shit. Hell yeah. Four minutes long. Okay. Riley, look, it's ad cap. Lol. Kappa. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, I can't just... Okay. Oh yeah, we got it. There we go. This is too damn fast. Hell yeah, look how fucking fast that is. It's sped. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do automation now. Oh my god, no way that got fucking verified. What the fuck? Public. You want auto. Oh, yeah, so this would be cool. Um, else if. Uh, so this is gonna be our bull here, and what we're gonna do is that once it hits four uh, one hundred, we're just gonna set the stop. False, if true, collect. I'll collect automatically. Maybe I can get rid of the button too. Else, it'll work. It'll it'll it won't claim at all. If data that you um, level equals a hundred it's true cool so that's done normal you're done yeah, what? ah <laughs> too many people I must stay out of that um okay so I wanna do bimax and I'm gonna steal this from drone by Buy Max Drone. Here we go. I'm just gonna steal this. Don't buy me. Don't buy me. So we're gonna have double... This is gonna be our level. Our end should be set. We can get rid of that and these. I'm gonna make a little template right here. So our main one is gonna be five. The rate, the rate is very very small. I should increase that to at least like fifteen maybe. Because that's very very small. And as you can see, I got 10,000 instantly. That's not good. We need, that, we need to slow that down. And our K, and that's just going to be data dot U one level. Oh. 
I'm gonna add one by max button for all. So I'm going to start from the biggest to the last. So we only have one. So we're just going to keep it like that. So we can get rid of B, R, and K. And our cost will be data.trx. And we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. And you want um, I'm gonna make this a ref because we can just modify K. We can just do K minus cost. Oh shoot, that's not gonna work. Um, so this would be K. I think this is it. We are directly modifying the level. That's why we added the ref. I've said that a lot of times in all my tutorials. But it's kind of important to know why I put that there. And for those who have those kind of issues in the past, that's, that kind of solves your problem. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, one thing I actually want to do is get the not notation. Notation. It's not going to work. Here's our notation here. I don't, I'm, I don't know why I'm putting this all above this, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to put notation. This is going to be a double. You know what? I should have copied and pasted this one right here. This is the one we're looking for. We'll just call this notation. Uh, get rid of all this BS that we don't need. Okay, so now we can add this to all of our texts now. Phew, thank God. So it's notation F2. And that's it. So now we just now we can add this to all of our costs. Notation F two. And we can add it to power as well. Might as well. And honestly, I really don't need this string Y because I'm going to be doing F2 anyways. So to make this a lot easier, I'm just going to get rid of this these F2. I don't know why I didn't do that in my main script because I don't need three decimals. I've never used three decimals. I've always used two. I feel like I find it really silly to look at because it's looking at just like a thousand again. You know, it's like looking at it previous. I don't know if that makes sense, but... I just don't. I just don't like to look at it. I'd rather look at a thousand TRX rather than point one point zero 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 K TRX. You know what I mean? It's just kind of pointless. I could just literally replace it with a comma. I just seeing three decimals is just really stupid. I think we're good. Okay, let's give this a shot.
What else? Did we, I feel like we added another text, but we didn't, right? Yeah, I know we didn't. I was kind of... don't know why I thought that. Okay. Cool. Um, before I I, I want to check something real quick. Is that the right one? We're good to go. Um, so uh, what were we doing? So yeah, see, this is a little steeper growth. It's not as fast. And um, another thing, just to make this game more, you know, makes more sense. The timer won't go if it's zero. And data dot u one. U1 level is greater than is not the zero. <laughs> so it won't go at the start unless I buy one. And that's gonna be the same thing for all of them. And you know what? I'm gonna do something cool. I'm gonna turn this run U1 into a run U. So the thing that's gonna be really tricky here is this is gonna look really messy so we're gonna have a text title text cost so we're gonna run all use um text prod text pers percent image fill we're nothing we're not changing anything here so we're going to do double level double cost double power We're gonna make this a collect to you as well. This we're just gonna optimize this to make this very easy to copy and paste and we're done with the game. <laughs> it's easy as a as a duplicate. Cost T power. I think we are good to go here. So now when we do run you here. This is gonna be the first one. Oh, we need it. We need. We're gonna need an ID too. So int ID to initiate which one it actually is. And let's put this at the front so we can easily determine which is which. Because that's gonna be a long ass thing. So one, you one title, you one cost, you one prod. U1% U1 fill U1 level data dot U1 level data dot U1 cost data dot U1 power data dot U1 timer data dot U1 time cap we need to add that down here. Don't know where that went, but we'll add it. Okay. So, oh yeah, the title. We're gonna have to add a title. It's gonna be exchange fee. Title T. And this is going to go here. We're going to put this ID here. We're going to start replacing stuff. Title. Oh, shoot. No, this is title T. Cost T. Prod. Per. Fill. Level. 
costs a timer timer time cap What else are we missing? Oh yeah, power. Time cap. Timer. Level. Timer. Molt. You're right. We're missing molt. So double molt. So after power, it's gonna be data dot u1 molt. And we're going to place that molt. Oh, we're mod we're directly modifying the timer. So we're going to have to add a reference to that, which is right here. <sighs> One more thing. Data.u1 auto. This is going to be a bool auto. This is going to be a timer, time cap. All right, I think we're good to go here. Now we're going to need an int ID here. We're going to completely be changing this up. <laughs> uh, what are we missing? We're missing some colon here. I think we got everything. See how much shorter this is now? And we don't have to copy and paste this 20 times. So this kind of makes up our loss for having to make a dictionary. So here is the tricky part. So this is, we're going to have to do switch here. I mean, there's nothing else we can do here. Yeah, I, this is the only thing I can really think of. Um, actually, do you know what? We could probably pass down all of these. So we're going to need float timer, float time cap, double, uh, TRX can stay, double power, I, I that's it, I think. So here we're going to need timer, time cap, power. And I don't think we're actually going to directly edit these things. So do we really need this ID? I don't think so. So good on us. We just saved a little extra um, time as well. So we don't need our ID anymore. We're just going to keep this ID at the end or right here. We, we won't need it, but I'm honestly just going to keep it just so we can see how oh, this is the first one, you know. Uh, okay, we're almost done here, guys. This is going to be a long video. Okay, I th honestly, I think, I don't think we can get any better <laughs> optimization than this. This is, like, amazing optimization. Okay, so, this is going to be run use now. <sighs> okay, I'm starting to lose my voice for how much I'm talking. <laughs> Alright, cross our fingers. First issue. I get it now. It's these buttons right here. So we're missing collect. Where's her collect? Am I stupid? Well, it's not in here. Why is that? Let's collect you. That doesn't exist. I see why. It's because we're taking three variables right here. That's not good. That is not good. 
this works right here. However, this does not work for the button because we only have one. So that's already becoming a problem. I think we're honestly kind of out of luck now. Um, we're going to have to go back. This kind of stinks. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. I honestly thought this was going to work, but you know, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Sucks because we're gonna have this five damn times. <sighs> One less. <sighs> this is gonna work now. Trust me, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. I'm telling you now, guys. I'm telling you, this is gonna work. <laughs> um, okay, so here, for one, we're gonna. Yes, this is gonna work. I'm telling you, UI, you one timer. Uh, I'm in rush mode right now. You one time cap, and data dot you one power. Booyah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So it, that's that's honestly the be that's the best we can do, I think. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, why is it maxing? That's not good. So. <gasps> oh. Okay. We're going to have to do something else with this. So, we're going to have to throw this all in here. Okay, perfect. That works. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, damn it. So, this timer, this needs to be a reference right here. We're, the, we're literally this close from, from just making a bunch of these. We're so close. All right. Let's see if we can get to auto. It might take a little bit. Instead of having to buy the autos, I'm just going to make them get it after 100. I think that's kind of fair, honestly. That I, don't, I think this still grows really fast. Yeah, we're we're already almost there to get another. You know what? This actually might be fair. Yeah, this honest this seems okay. And honestly, I'm not really aiming towards making a really, you know, sh you you get there and you're done, right? Um, okay, so now all we gotta do at this point is copy and paste. So anything, so anything here, we can. So let's actually do this. Let's make a method. So this is only going to need a level, and we're going to need a reference for double mult. Oh, yeah, we're going to need a ref bool auto.
Okay. So we're going to make a secondary method. Actually, do you know what? We can honestly just throw this all into one method. I don't... I, I don't know why I, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Actually, we don't need this if statement either. I like simplifying things as much as possible because I want to do as little work as possible in order to make this, you know, fully functional, right? So we have our level already. That was pretty easy. We just need to add another one. And then we're good to go. And then data.u1 cost. All that we gotta do is just change the numbers every time we copy and paste it, right? So let's add let's add three. Okay. One, two, three. So two, three. The second one is gonna be a smart contract. And this is going to be delegation. Delegation pool. These are all just like things related to Tron. So now the only thing that's gonna suck, but it doesn't suck at the same time because it's so much better than doing a lot of other things, is replacing every single one of these. So we just gotta go here. Bam. U2, 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 U2. And then we gotta change this to U3. U3, 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 U3,
Ugh. I want to do prefab, but that causes a lot of coding. Maybe. Yeah, because we can. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make prefabs. No, I'm not going to change the name of these because that's a lot of work, too. So let's make up the six at the end of this video. So here, let's actually have a fourth one, just so we know what it looks like. And this is going to be right here. Yeah, that looks good, I think. It's clean. It's pretty easy layout to make. All right, now we got to do the, the, the devastating part. No, 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 it's film. And then our methods. Two, three, three, two. And I think that's it, honestly. Okay. Why is, there, why is that cap? Oh, yeah, because this is a capitalized. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have NAN already. Ah. We have a divide by zero, I'm guessing. Yes, we do. I know why. That's because we forgot to do these. Two. I've experienced too many NANs in my life. I'm going to become an NAN. Perfect. Let's get started. Ah. <laughs> How did I not see this? I forgot to re add the if statement. If. You know what? Fine, I'll add it in here. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. If cost greater than. No, 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 no. If data.trx is greater than equal than cost. There you go. So we don't have to add it three times. It's all in one. It's all we need to do. So that fixes that problem. Now the next problem is time. I don't know why time's having an issue here. It's got to be something with the update. So the run us. I mean, we're not getting any errors, though. It's funny, because the first one was working before this all started. What's going on here? What's going on? So the timer is not increasing, and I'm not sure why. So, if we increase this ourselves, it looks like our fill is zero too. So, something is getting mixed up here. I'm going to add refs to all of these just in case. I have a strange feeling that there's something screwing up here. But I, I mean, it was working earlier, though, right?
Why? So I'm guessing these are the only ones a property or indexer may not be passed as a okay so cost and power are the only ones so that's like the only ones that are having issues though which doesn't make sense okay well i i don't know what to say here other than let's give it a shot and i, I if i need to turn these two off then i can Okay, so we need a debug. There's a thing about when you go to coding, you can never make a perfect a perfect script without running into problems. I mean, not, not me at least. I'm, I'm, maybe it's this right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's this right here. Alright. Come on, Anna Give me something good. Give me some good news. It looks like it's running all of them. However, it's not... Where's our levels to? Do we not have any level at all? No, I can't do it. It's not buying any level either. Oh wait, levels right here. Okay, so it's not buying a level now. I see the problem. So it's not this. So it's not buying a level. I see why. We never set this one. We never set level as a ref. Don't know why, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> That's the re See, this is why you have references because it won't directly change it. So listen, learn to all of you. Don't be stupid like me, okay? Yeah. This is what I like to see. Oh, we forgot to, to change the time for all of them. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, last one. Um, so timer cap can be changed in here. So we're going to set the timer for... 15. Okay, that seems fair. Uh, I'm not gonna release this game unless I finish it. So, this will be this one of my side fun projects that I can just, you know, experiment with. If you guys want me to release this game and finish it, I mean. Spam my Kofi, and sure, I guess that'll motivate me too. Okay, so I'm gonna try to save up a little bit. Let's see, will this work? Ah, I didn't buy it. So how did it buy 19 of this? <laughs> oh, it's not collecting now. F! I've been shot. Um. Right. Two, three. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, I, I I pulled the funny joke. Why is buy maxing all still buying all of them? I don't know why. That's 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 a little strange, but you know what? We got it to work. It's okay. Sixteen, seventeen. I accidentally just completely flipped the upgrades. No wonder why the buy max wasn't working for that. It was buying these instead. <sighs> okay. Okay. There we go. Probably the most boring part is this right here. I want to buy the second one already. Come on. All right, ready? Boom. Okay, it's still one. Don't know why, but we'll test this. Okay, so that works. Alright, so we need to change the... We need to change the power, because I keep forgetting to do that. So, the timer is going to be four four, around four times less, or more. So I think the power should be a hundred more. And this one should be like 150. <gasps> okay, so let's test this. Get to max. Um, let's get as much as we can. So let's just set this to like. Okay. Let's see. 60. Boom. Hell yeah. Now that's gonna carry. I want to get this to 100. See, look at that. That looks, that looks nice. Yeah, that's gonna be a little expensive. But I wanna get that auto. Come on, let's get let's get to it. So that price scales very fast, so you won't get to this auto. Yeah, there we go. We got our auto. Sweet. Now, this video is already an hour and a half. I can add more if I wanted to. But honestly, the game is already like it's 500 subs. Come on, man. <laughs> um, wow, that is a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be making this. Is where you need prestige. But yeah, I I honest I think I'm done. Honestly, it looks nice. It looks very clean. Come on, you gotta admit it looks it looks really good. <laughs> For just something I made in an hour and a half, I could have made it a little faster if I like knew 100% what I was doing. If I had all my assets ready, I'd probably make it in like maybe out 45 minutes to an hour. Talking also didn't help too. Um, since I tend to like talking in my videos a lot. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, let's change the resolution. Let's make it bigger. And no, no, no. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. We'll keep it like this. Now nah, we'll we'll just have it what we had it before. Yeah, you know yeah. This looks fine, honestly. Um. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for 500 subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you spread this video. <laughs> Everywhere. Let's get as many subs as possible. Let's get all these coders um, to learn something new. Uh, let's make better idle games too. So another thing I want to give some advice is don't make, don't make, don't exactly copy what I did. Like the point of this is to show what you can create.
and how to alternate it and like how how these things actually are made and how easy it is. Anyone can make these kind of games, you know, right? You know, my point is that I don't want everyone to be making the same game, but I want someone to know how, like how, how to actually code one so you, you know you can take all this knowledge and make one for yourself. And hopefully you can get somewhere as well as much as I want to get somewhere. Um, but yeah, hope you guys had fun watching this um, watching this video. I had fun making it. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that number increasing. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, check out my Patreon. Check out my Kofi. Where is it? Come on. Check out my Kofi account. And last but not least, check out my Pinterest too. I like to keep everything here. I'm trying to grow this account as much as possible. Um, it's doing good so far. Pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, anyways, like, subscribe, check all this stuff out, and have a good day. Yeah. Peace. Got me in this party, all up in a zone. How this Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?